Have you ever wondered if you could make animations on your mobile phone or your tablet? Well, there's an app out there for you. It's called Flipper Clip. Some of you may have known it for this video since you are not new to the app. But for those of you who are and are seeking to improve your skills, you may find this video very helpful. And with that said, let's get into it. Flipper Clip has recently updated its app and there's a new feature in it. In fact, there are a lot of features in it, but let's just talk about a few. The first one I'll be talking about is how you stack your projects. When you create different project files, like you can see over here, you can hold on to one of the project files and move it onto another. One of the benefits of stacking your projects together is that it helps you keep track of a particular set or group of projects that you're working on. This is because as an animator, sometimes you work on projects ranging from a few seconds to few minutes. And we all know that as an animator, you need to divide your project into smaller bits. When you divide them into smaller bits, it becomes hard to track them once they are not well organized. So by organizing your project into one particular folder or in a stack, it's easy for you to follow your project and keep track of them. But let's say you made a mistake and added the wrong project to the wrong stack. There's a way to go about it and undo your mistake. Hold on to your project of interest and click the move out option. Then you have it all corrected. Now that that's done, let's talk about creating a new project. When you want to create a new project, the first thing you need to do is to click on the plus icon on your screen. After clicking it, you are presented with this. Now for every project, the first thing you need to do is to add the project name. Name your project in such a way as it provides just enough information about what your project contains. The next thing to do is to select your canvas size. By clicking this part, you are presented to different canvas sizes available on the app. We have them ranging from the dimensions of a TikTok video to that of YouTube. For me, the dimension of preference is YouTube of the highest quality on the app, which is the one with the width of 1920 pixels and the height of 1080 pixels. Now that we are done with our canvas size, the next thing to do is to choose our frames per second or FPS. The frames per second simply means the amount of frames that exist in one second of your animation. The higher the frames, the smoother your animation and the lesser the frames, the choppier yeah, your animation gets. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a word. But anyway, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be selecting a lesser frame because normally I go with 12 frames per second. Now that we've selected our video qualities, let's create project. Now that we've created our project, you are presented with the Flipper Clip workspace. On this workspace, you can zoom in on your canvas and you can zoom out. You notice that on your screen, there are different icons on every corner. By clicking on the icon with the three dots on the upper right of your screen, you are presented with different options. Project settings allows you to make adjustments to your new animation. With this, you can rename your animation and you can change the frames per second. By clicking this icon, you can edit your canvas background. There are varieties of preset canvas backgrounds that you can choose from. The bucket icon on the other hand is used to select a color for your canvas background. The picture icon is used to select an image stored in your mobile device or your tablet and use that image as your canvas background. While the camera icon enables you to snap an image with your mobile device or your tablet and use that image that has been snapped as your canvas background. Now I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to snap this dark image with my camera and use it as my flipper clip canvas background. Now that I've explained that, let me return the canvas background to its default setting. That will be all for now. But if there's anything you don't understand about stacking, creating your project and editing your project, feel free to leave a comment. If you found this video particularly helpful, please leave a like, share and subscribe. Thank you.